party members and supporters in their numbers welcomed their national leader, the presidential candidate for the party in the 2023 general election, Mr. Peter Obi, with solidarity chants. The signal is well received as the tour through major streets in Benin City, the Edo state capital, thereafter begins. The Araike New Motor Spare Parts Market is one of the locations on the itinerary. From the markets, Mr. Obi and members of his entourage, including federal and state lawmakers, were the governorship and deputy governorship candidates of the party for the September 21 Edo governorship election, make their way into the palace of the Oba of Benin to seek royal blessings. So my we're here for the palace of blessings, as our party will commence our campaign, campaign for the election, election of governorship of the state. state. And our pleading, like we always do, is that, that for us to build a credible nation, it will start by having free, fair, and credible elections. Let the people elect those who start. Our party represents Papa, Mama, the King the entire family, and that is what we are hoping to bring to Edo State. Governance that is people-focused, people-oriented, oriented, and people-impacted. And by the grace of Almighty God and our ancestors, we believe that come 21st of September, when the people and, 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 and push us into the office of government, we will be able to deliver the benefits of uh, uh, of democracy to them. His Royal Majesty Omonobanedu Ewai the second Oba of Benin, who acknowledges the governorship candidate's resourcefulness, recognizes him as a true son of the soil, but maintains the palace stance of being non-partisan. So I say to you again, uh, Labour Party people, members here and uh, here present, and uh, not not here. Wish you, wish you well. Uh, thank you very much. With royal blessings received, the party says it's continuing with the next big steps. We are just starting our campaign, and our campaign will be based on issues, strictly on issues that affect the people of Edo, essentially the poor people. My campaign in Nigeria is about how do we pull our people out of poverty and provide them good governance. Our national leader has been working very hard. He, in fact, he came here with many of our national uh, working committee members, our senators. They are meeting regularly to make sure that uh, we are all a united force towards the coming election. I'm confident that uh, the, the, the efforts will yield results. Also on the list of activities for the day is the launch of the party's campaign office in the GRA Benin City, a place designed to feature greatly in the party's work towards ensuring victory in the September 21 governorship election in Edo State. Jessica Luguser, Channels Television News.